I'm going to show you something here that I am, I'm actually a little bit ashamed of, but I'm not ashamed, but I am. As I've gotten older, I have to wear glasses to see. Nice. And, and, or contacts, which I've, I've gotten to the point where contacts just too much. I mean, to be life. fair, I've worn co- glasses or contacts since I was seven, but now on top of the contacts, I have to wear reading glasses. Now, a little while back, uh, I did one of those Amazon surveys and I won this little cheap little Android tablet. It's nothing fancy. It's like like 150 or so retail, but hey, it was free and it works and it's like a little 10 inch screen and that's neat. And I don't like wearing my glasses. So I got myself something and I actually, I feel a little ashamed about this because I'm like, am I this person now? I'm like, I'm ashamed, but, but I'm not, but I am. For your bed? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So I could put the tablet right in my face. So I don't have to wear my glasses, but I don't have to hold it either. Okay. I told you. I told you. (laughs) I mean, I can see the utility of a product like this because, you know, after surgery, like I would have, I would have enjoyed a product like this. I didn't have surgery. I still am like, I don't want to hold up this damn tablet. Yeah. And I don't want to wear my glasses. I just want to relax. With my Stargate SG-1. I I used to have a tablet, and I never used it. Like, ever. I don't bring it on a plane. I used to bring it on a plane with movies on it, and I never used it. I I never used it. And, like, I I just live and die off my phone. And now I have a work laptop for one of my jobs. And that's the weirdest shit ever to me. Like, I've almost forgotten to bring it a couple of times because I'm not accustomed to carrying a computer with me. But I have, like... I like my big dinosaur of a desktop. And when they stop making these, I'm going to lose my... I I have this... I have... I have an armature attached to my headboard. Each week, Catherine... Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, we're going to start in Orange County. Uh, it's your birthday. I'll uh, get busy. I'm it's your Orange birthday. County, what state? Because there's like um, three states. That that's, true. Orange that's true. Uh, this, this is Orange County, Florida. So, of course. Okay. Orange County, Florida. Um, so, yeah. I can understand sometimes. Well, not anymore. I used to... It's been a while since I've been like super excited about a birthday. Like for me, I've gotten to a point where birthday is just another day. So I, remember, oh, I love my birthday. I remember when I used to get excited about birthdays and stuff. So I, I can understand. You get, a, you get a little antsy. I still do. You, you get you get a little antsy in your pantsy. You get a little little so hype. Between up. you and me and the internet, every year I'm like a little disappointed that there isn't a huge surprise party. <laughs> I've never had a surprise party in my life. Not once. I've had two. I don't believe two? they exist. I think I think surprise parties are a lie. Well, this party had my an sweet int- sixteen. My sweet sixteen was a surprise party. This party had an interesting surprise. Um, what are you doing on my carpet? Fire. Yeah, that's what I saw. Sorry. Orange County man arrested. For trying to shoot down sheriff's helicopter after birthday party. But not the deputy's helicopter. <laughs> you, you're going to get the call back on that. We're just going to hold on to that one forever, huh? Um, <laughs> a man was arrested on a federal grand jury indictment that alleges he repeatedly fired shots at an Orange County Sheriff's Department helicopter in March after his birthday party ended acrimoniously. Justin, That's a good word. I like that word. Justin Derek Jennings, 39, of Laguna Niguel, has been... Is that Niguel? Niguel? Niguel. Niguel? Okay. Has been charged with one count of attempting to damage the Troy or disable an aircraft after a chaotic incident on March 9th. 
Court documents say Jenny and his family were celebrating his birthday party and he was allegedly drinking when he, quote, became enraged. As his outburst escalated, family members in attendance left the home, as you do. Like, drunk and happy, people are like, uh, that's fine. Drunk and sad, people are like, eh. Drunk and angry, get the fuck out. That's, right. um, after most of his family left, Jennings allegedly removed a rifle from his gun safe and fired an entire magazine worth of ammunition inside the home. Now that's already, we're, it's already just, we're at a great point to start here. You've just blasted yeah. off a bunch of bullets in the house. Just wrecking your own shit. Mom says not to shoot guns. And I learned in the this house. from Dan. There, I learned this from Dan. Only certain bullets will go through a wall. Yeah, because his his gun that he had, he bought specific bullets that would not pass through a wall, so that he couldn't like accidentally kill a neighbor if he was trying to shoot an intruder. Yeah, they they have, they have yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. As his outburst escalated, family members in attendance left. Um. Jennings allegedly then went to the home's second story and began shooting a rifle upwards in the sky. Um, yeah, at this point, deputies and department helicopter responded to the scene. Uh, some of his family members called the cops because you're firing a gun inside. So he's trying, the, the, the helicopter shows up and he's trying to shoot it down with a rifle. Like, and that's not the party game. That's not it. No, it's not. It's not pin the bullet on the cop. That'll get you in trouble, actually. See, it, there's one people, one group of people in America who are allowed to shoot at you. Way White more people? than they should be. White people. No, although that's like second tier. That's like second tier. It's cops. Okay. Cops, mm. yeah. They even have this little special qualified immunity crap in court that says they can shoot at you and you can't say do shit about it, even if they're wrong. Um, so provoking the police helicopter. That's a little like poking the bear. Only in this case, the bear is a mobile platform from which to fire a sniper rifle at you. Yeah, and they and they also have a rifle. <laughs> they also have a rifle. Theirs are nicer. They got theirs used from Iraq. Like, what the fuck happened at his birthday party? Right. Because, like, I've had people hurt my feelings on my birthday. Mm -hmm. I've had birthdays that didn't go great. That ended up kind yeah. of a bummer. Never have I thought the only solution to this is to just shoot everything. I I told like him. I thought I'm just gonna eat. I'm just gonna eat my whole cake. I told him. I, I told him I want chocolate. Buy some shit online. I told they were chocolate. They got me yellow cake. I didn't. Want, I didn't want yellow cake, and they had the icing. I didn't want the icing. They got me an end piece. I didn't want an end piece. I wanted the middle piece with the less icing, but they gave me the piece <laughs> in the end. I'm getting my gun. It's like fucking Melvin from fucking Office Space and shit. What the fuck? Or like Cartman, like ants in the pants, ants in the pants. Like what? Ha what? What went wrong with your birthday party, bro? Did you realize next year you're forty? I'm amazed that at this point that they, they, um, yeah, Jennings eventually exited the home and surrendered after speaking with a deputy. I am amazed he's not dead. Yeah. Probably only because he was indoors and they didn't have a clear shot. Probably. <sighs> or because he's. I don't think so, but and eh. some shooters we negotiate with, and some people we just shoot at. Uh, next one. This is from Denmark. This made the rounds on the social medias this weekend. Um, I have never been the type of person that can handle super spicy food, and I have gotten my, 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 my whole shovel full of shit over it over the years. Like people are like, ah, I, I am a big old white people stereotype. Like I, I, I'm like I, I put a little 
little chili powder on something. It's like, woo. And then people next to me are like shoving whole cans of wasabi peas down their throat and shit. And I'm like, how do you do that? This, however, I'm like, really? Really? Denmark. (laughs) Denmark recalls Korean ramen for being too spicy. Something is spicy in the kingdom of Denmark. (laughs) If you want to talk about being a stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like, I mean, no country is all white people anymore. No, not really, no. But I feel like Denmark is probably mostly white people still. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. And being like, no, sorry, this Korean ramen is too much for us. Denmark has recalled several spicy ramen noodle products by South Korean company uh, Samyang, uh, claiming that the capsaicin levels in them could poison consumers. Three fiery flavors of the Samyang instant ramen line are being withdrawn. Bulldak 3X spicy and hot chicken 2X spicy and hot chicken and hot chicken stew. So even just the base, the X1, <laughs> it's, it's the, the X3 was too much. Um, Denmark's food agency issued a recall and a warning on Tuesday, urging consumers to abandon the product. But the maker Samyang says there's no problem with quality of food. We understand the Danish Food Authority recalled the product, not because of a problem with their quality, because they were too spicy. Products have been exploring globally, but this is the first time they've been recalled for the above reason. Um, the uh, Danish Veterinary and Food Administrator said it assessed the levels of capsation in a single packet to be so high they pose a risk to the com- consumer of acute poisoning. Um... Of course, you know, because it's Denmark and it went around social media, uh, everyone, the notice has sparked heated discussion online with many amused reactions from lovers of spicy food. Many made assertions about the date's low tolerance for spice. The noodles do not appear to have been recalled in any other country, nor have there been any other safety warnings issued. See, that's the thing. We, we've had, like, incidents. Like, they had the, the stupid uh, one-chip challenge that actually killed a kid. Because it was there was too much there, there was it was like a Carolina Reaper powder they put on it. That's pretty bad. I didn't know that capsaicin could be poisonous. Oh yeah, well, cap, that's what it is. It's a toxin. I mean, yeah, I guess that is the point. It's a don't eat me chemical, yeah, and we were like, bet. And and we have we have refined it like so it can be dangerous. But what happens to you? Um. Well, shit. I don't know. It's it's well, it is a it's chemical burn for one thing. Um, it also caused heart palpitations, other issues like that. Well, caps, yeah, capsation causes chemical burns. That's, that's how it, yeah, it's, it, it, that's what it's, it's, that's what, how it works. That's why you have the spicy in your mouth. It's a chemical burn. It's just a very mild one comparatively. So you can, in fact, it is, it can, in fact, be dangerous. But the fact that no other country in the world had looked at this ramen packet and went, this is a danger to the health of our country. Nobody else did except fucking Denmark. I mean, this is the country that produced Prince Hamlet. The most indecisive flounder of a character in human history. Like most people, I'm, I'm And gonna... yes, I realize he was fictional before y'all start. Yes, I realize he was fictional. And yes, I realize he was written by a Brit. It's a joke. Like, I'm, I, I know I'm going to get shit for this, but some people are, are watching this right now and going, is that the place with the windmills? And, um, no, that's, it's. No, that's next door. It's next door. Um, next door. but yeah, they don't mention the capsation levels. In no, here, it's but... like North. The two fingers are Sweden and Finland. And then Denmark is right below. Yeah. They, they don't, they don't mention the, the, the Schofield score, which is how they score how much capsation. Yeah. They don't mention that in here, which, you know, but the fact that every now and then on like I get on like weird jobs where I'll watch a lot of Food Network, which is amazing because I don't cook at all. But I'll watch I'll sit and watch Chopped and be like, you don't have time to make ice cream, you fucking amateur. (laughs) And every now and then they do like an episode of Guy's Grocery Games where they're like, we brought all the hottest peppers in the world. Please murder our judges. 
And there's this one chef who her name's Manit Shohan, and I love her. She's this Indian lady from from Nashville. And I don't think anything anyone has ever made has ever been spicy enough for her. And I fear her. Because they'll be like, it's just a plate of ghost peppers. That's it. And she'll be like, hmm, it's a bit mild. <laughs> Oh, all right, let's move along. This, wow. Well, on, on the one hand, good on you. On the other, really? I mean, you know, time and a place. Uh, Ohio, a Columbus officer fired after excessive sex acts on duty at Kroger. Uh, Columbus officers lost a job after engaging, engaging in sexual acts multiple times while on duty at a local grocery store. Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant uh, spoke to NBC4 Friday where she disclosed she terminated Officer Robert Spann for actions while on duty at an unspecified Kroger in the area. Document dated for Tuesday detail, Bryant made the decision to fire him for violating the division's rules of conduct with consensual sexual activity with a store employee. Right, had been notified by the Columbus Inspector General's office. He was caught on camera doing some sexual acts, and it was an excessive amount of times, Bryant said. I want to believe at least nine times was caught on camera. Was that one day? Because that's really impressive. In a row? In a row. And that was brought to the General Inspector's attention regarding an investigation. Brian said she and the Inspector General Office deliberate on whether or not it would be a criminal investigation, but the store played a role in the decision. Once it was determined, it's not going to be criminal because Kroger chose not to prosecute. Uh, it was investigated by the Inspector General. We, we made the decision he should be fired. I, okay. Have Here's you... the thing. They say an excessive number of times. One. <laughs> it's an excessive number. When you're the on-duty cop at the supermarket. True. Yeah. One, One is, an is an excessive number of times for you to be fucking on the job. <laughs> I just, I've, I, have you ever been in Like, a... if it was only twice, would there have been like, oh, all right, well, it was only two times. It's not like it was an excessive amount of times. Like, you've, I mean, you've been in a supermarket. Have you been in a Kroger before? I've been in, like, uh, I have Safeway, which is owned by Kroger. Yeah, the Kroger, you know, of them all, Kroger, there, there are tiers to the quality of grocery stores. Like Publix is pretty, is, yeah. is pretty, is pretty nice. And there are some or actually King Super is its owned by Kroger. Th One of my local chains is owned by Kroger. Th there are actually some like you know really, really, really upscale ones here and there. But Kroger is sort of on the lower end of the scale. Yeah. Who's popping a boner in the Kroger? Really. Come on. I mean, it's a step above the Walmart. Like, are, are you walking down the produce aisle and getting misted and being like, oh, I'm feeling a little frisky today? Really? Well, the peaches are looking especially peachy today. Right? <laughs> it's just, just, what, Kroger what? wants to buy Safeway. Okay, so then it's King Supers that they already own out here. Just, it's, it's the grocery store. There's the dairy aisle. Guys, grocery sex games. No, <laughs> no. Like, like the, the, the fucking butcher counter is right there. All right. This one, I don't exactly, this is probably isn't a new crime. This is, this is a, this is some sort of con, but this is a weird one. It feels new. It feels, it feels novel at the very least. Let's just dive into it. Pastor sentenced to 35 years for stealing churches. Stealing churches what? Yes, full stop. Three, three churches. Stolen. Yes. What? A Texas pastor has been sent to 35 years in prison after a jersey, jury convicted him of stealing three churches valued at more than $800,000. Whitney Foster, 56, what? the pastor at the True Foundation non-denominational church in Dallas, was sentenced after he was convicted of theft of property involving three local churches. Foster was the pastor of a small congregation that did not have a physical place to meet. 
Foster was accused of stealing real estate from three local churches after prosecutors say he filed fraudulent property deeds listing a fake pastor and other church officials of the congregations from which he was found guilty of stealing property. On the deed documents, he lists his church as the grantee in his own name. The value of the three properties totaled more than $800,000. Um, yeah, it, 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 so this was a bunch of paperwork fraud. He did not own the church or multiple churches. But what he did was he filed paperwork to say, I own this now. And because of the way bureaucracies work, by the time it, it, it someone figured out, wait, no, what? No, this isn't, this wasn't yours. Um, oopsie. Unfortunately, deed fraud is a whole thing now. Yeah. Uh, in 2021. Oh. In 2021, the pastor of the Lancaster, Texas church learned the congregation no longer owned the building after it was deeded to another person for $10. The property valued at $700,000 at the time was signed over to someone else after claiming to be the chairman of the church and deeded the building over to a non-church member for $10 at the time. See, now you got to know that's bullshit because there is no American church that would sell their building for a loss. <laughs> Ah, uh, just, it's one thing enough to steal a church. That's already pretty bad. I keep picturing Lex Luthor dragging <laughs> the cart of cakes, except it's little churches. It's, 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 it's already, it's already bad enough that you've stolen, but you are a pastor. You are, it's like, you know how hermit crabs? They find other shells and crawl into it. You can't do that with a church, my man. You can't just be Jesus like, well, this, this church is empty. It's our church now. Of course it's empty. It's Thursday. Jesus is very disappointed with you, sir. Like, I, missing the entire goddamn point. You could not have done I mean, it. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, hi, Grady. He's tall now. I mean, that's hardly out of character for American Christianity, that's if true. we're being honest. That's true. Like, the thing they what excel is at is missing the goddamn point. Yes. What is it, Bozo? But usually they stick to, like, <laughs> child molestation. <laughs> it's not funny. Why am I laughing? Oh, hi, Bozo. What are you doing? It's just it it had this been like a con man or something, this would have been fuck you. This would fuck you, you still a church for the fuck. Fuck you. But it's the, no, I want a church. You have a church. You've got those church. I want churches. Can I have the church? It's my church now. I and said like, so. I'm sure it's very hard when your congregation doesn't have a place to meet. Yeah. Hi. Probably if you asked one of those churches, they might loan share? you some space. Yeah. If you're if your congregation's beliefs don't horribly sit at a crossroads with them. You know why he's doing this, right? It's because I'm wearing... He's cute and he can. It's because it's it's summer, he's shedding, and I'm wearing a black t-shirt. Hmm. Isn't that right? I got a, I got a brand new pair of jeans that I, I got. I bought them online, tried them on, laid them on the bed to put away later, came in an hour later, Dottie fast asleep on the brand new pair of jeans. They are just little chaos demons. I am currently in a puddle of shredded paper towel from Valkyrie. That I've gotten to the point where if she gets one, I just let her have it for a few days before I clean it up because it makes her so happy. Buddy, I got to do stuff. This is not the time. You've no, you picked, don't. You've picked the wrong time. See, Simba's now giving me the butt. He's on my desk, but giving me the butt <laughs> because he got scolded. Do you see him grabbing my hand to keep petting him? You see this shit? <sighs> buddy. Grady. Buddy. He's like, no, I, I pets. pets there. Look at, look at this. You see him swiping to try to keep my hand there. Oh, he's silly boy. All right, we got to do more stories. We got to do more stories. Buddy. Okay, nobody on the internet cares about humans. Just do this. 
they'll pay you. Oh, okay. sure. I mean, you're not entirely wrong. I don't know how much I can pay for it, but you're not entirely wrong. Okay, this next one is, man, if I had, I, I get really nice things very rarely because, you know, that's, not all of us are, are loaded money bag shit, but when I get very nice things, when I do have very nice things, I take incredible care of them because it's nice things. Like I've got th those guitars back there and my amplifier and stuff. I, I take super good care of them because these are the nice things. These are what I get. I want, I want to, you know, I'm mad about this, this next one. Where are you going, buddy? I'm mad about this next one because how dare you? Okay, let's 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 start with the headline here. Um, police looking for two hundred and thirty thousand dollar Lamborghini stolen from Salt Lake Airport. Hi, what are you? What are you reading? <laughs> Dad. He is determined Dad, tonight. Hang up. Dad. Grady, are you? He's, he's doing mystery. You see this? But I, but I love you. Hi, buddy. Why don't you love me? Hi, buddy. I know you're a good boy, buddy. Really, he's he's still going. <laughs> he's still going. It's time to make the donuts. Is that it? Release the greedy cut. They're they're demanding that you leave all of this in for the YouTube. All right, so. Um, Salt Lake City missing a Lamborghini worth about $234,000 last seen parked at the Salt Lake International Airport. Salt Lake police on Wednesday asked for help locating a Lamborghini that, here's the money quote, was left in short-term parking at the airport on June 1st with doors unlocked and keys still in the vehicle. Oh, so the owner did that. The owner did that. Which was not there when the owner returned a week later. What? You left your unlocked Lamborghini with the keys in it and it wasn't there when you came back. That's barely stealing. Yeah, I know. That's right. And people are saying this is insurance. Is a Lamborghini a good car? A Lamborghini is a very expensive car for men with small penises. It's their design in such a way that they are not practical. Cars. They go fast, vroom, vroom. They, they are not practical in any way, shape, or form, but, you know, they're expensive. And people at Chandler are going, oh, it's insurance fraud. Well, you know, I, if it was insurance fraud, I think you'd try a little bit harder than telling the cops, yeah, I left the keys in it and the door unlocked. I yeah. think you're trying it a wasn't harder. so much stolen. It wasn't so much stolen as you gave it away. Yes. What the only thing missing was a little sign in it that said free car. Yeah, when the suspect came across the Lamborghini, he found the car unlocked with the keys inside, allowing him to steal the car. You know that guy was like looking there like, oh, this is fuck. Am I being punked? Am I on camera? See, maybe. Maybe that's actually a little bit genius because if you came upon that, wouldn't you be like, fuck now? <laughs> no. No, I'd be like, is Aston Kusher gonna 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 pop out and am I gonna be on TV? I'd be like, no, it's going to it's going to explode and I will die. Yeah, something like that. Hi, what are you doing? Fuck now. Okay, he's done now. Where are we going? He heard plastic <laughs> crinkling. That's it. That's exactly why. Oh um, yeah, that'll do it. Sarah's in the other room crinkling plastic. Um, yeah, it just, investigators say the incident is also a good reminder to always lock your car when it's parked, roll up the windows, never leave valuables in the car and take the keys. No, it's not a lesson for that. We didn't need that lesson. Nobody needed that you know, lesson. A couple of years ago, someone in my neighborhood, we have a neighborhood anecdote. Facebook group. How do you have an anecdote for this? Posted that their handgun was stolen out of their car. And everyone's like, oh shit, that's terrible their their unsecured handgun that was sitting on the passenger seat of the unlocked car parked on the street and everyone was like well that that sounds like that's your fault Skill and then we all got yelled at for victim blaming yeah 
like we all get yelled at for victim blaming and we're like well yeah because it's your fault <laughs> yeah like no, because you are to blame i just i love how the cops are like yeah you should know you should always lock your car don't leave the keys no we we know that dipshit we fuck don't lecture us the fuck a fucking lamborghini you don't deserve to get that car back you honest to god don't no. You don't. You deserve to drive a used Saturn for the rest of your life. They're going to find that it's either going to be at the bottom of a ravine or it's in pieces being spread all around the world as we speak. Yeah. All right. This last one, this entire motherfucker. I don't even know. The entire motherfucker. I don't even know. It's Florida, of course. It's a Florida man headline. How quaint. Um, this fella, I, I don't know what the hell happened, but his switch got flipped from okay to fuck the world. Florida man accused of DUI hit and run, punching maintenance worker, then headbutting officer. Oh yeah. Um... A road rage incident led to a suspected drunk driver fleeing from a crash and punching a maintenance worker. Cape Coral Police Department responded to a hit and run scene last Sunday after they received a call about a white pickup crashing into another car and fleeing. Another car about the same truck with its front tire blown out, speeding through a residential area. Witness flagged down police and told them the driver was, quote, acting crazy. The man identified as Juan Lago, 38, and his truck were located at a Circle K where he was described as being aggressive. According to the report, he had slurred speech and glossy eyes and denied ever being in a crash. Police interviewed several witnesses. According to the report, Lago stopped at a liquor store twice. He first bought a shooter of Fireball before later returning to the store intoxicated. One shooter? That's it? Did you not have lunch? Okay. Lago then asked the employee and a customer if they liked Muslims. Now, this next one, do you understand this reference, or is it just it's misspelled? I'm guessing they completely fuckered the word Marine. Because, yeah, it's... Lago asked the employee and a customer if they liked Muslims, and that he was... I, I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can see how it's spelled. An X-Man. So I was sitting Man. there... For a second there, I was sitting there going, wait a minute. Did this motherfucker tell someone in the super in, in, in the fucking convenience store that he was an X Man? Was it like Cyclops or some shit? The fucking Colossus. But like the what? French ones, an X Man. X Man, yeah. I am um, X Man. He was an ex Marine, and that they he they killed all of his people. When Lago returned twenty minutes later, the employees refused him alcohol, which led him to become angry, spitting at the worker, trying to challenge him to a fight. Why? That's always the thing that that bothers me. It, like would some dudes they get drunk it's like to challenge you to a duel and shit like no i'll fight you why why were you announcing that you. shit um another witness told officials they were waiting for lago's truck to pass by before they pulled out of their driveway on the road that's when lago made a u-turn drove right at her got out tried opening the driver's side door and started banging on her window Woman's maintenance worker witnessed the incident, tried to step in and calm Lago down. However, Lago grabbed the man, pulled out a knife, threatened him before Lago punched him in the face. And um, all she did was sit there? Yeah, well, she was in the car. It's like, what the fuck is she going to do? Um, no, like, I mean, all she did to piss him off was sit there waiting for him to pass by. Yes. Yeah. After performing a field sobriety test, Lago was arrested for DUI and taken to a nearby <laughs> hospital. That's when Lago headbutted an officer on his chin. So you're like, this is the hole you're in. You're already in the hole. And you're like, yeah. well, all I've got is this shovel. So what else am I going to do? So you have fucked up. <laughs> One shooter, a fireball. <laughs> One shot, a fireball. Like, come on. Like, I'm a lightweight, but I'm not that much of a lightweight. Like one shot of fireball and your entire world flips upside down. But you know the guy was fucked up because, like, I very recently had a tire blow out. Right. 
like, and I think, I don't know if I posted the picture online, but I took a picture and it looked like this tire fucking exploded. Yeah. I don't know what I did. Oh, yeah. Speeding was not going to be an option for me. Oh, you can't. Now, granted, at the time I was, I was driving a Honda Fit, hmm. which weighs about 50 pounds with rocks in the trunk. So, like, the whole car is doing this while I'm going 20 miles an hour on fire. Oh, oh, you so the fact that he was speeding on a on a blown out tire. Yeah, you were fucked up. Oh, you absolutely can speed on him. It's just when you do, you make the fun orange sparks. It's like free yeah. fireworks. It's like, you know, like you had those little cars used to rev up when you were kids and they would throw sparks out the back. It's like that, only for big people. <laughs> Just crash. So your truck is fucked. You, you have gotten in multiple altercations. You have punched somebody who had just not just was there and told you, hey, man, leave that lady alone. And you end the day by headbutting a, ch a cop in the chin. One shot of fireball. I mean, presumably he acquired some liquor somewhere else because, or there were other substances involved. Or, or he magically became possessed by a demon somewhere in that house. Or this is the most epic lightweight in the history of lightweights. This, this, this man is, his liver is, is no, it's like, no, nope, we're closed for business. <laughs> Nothing happening here. One. No, he just have one. He's got he got an IOU for one. Like the fuck. I I the idea, man. I my car. I don't want to have to replace that until I have to replace that because it's expensive yeah. for. I've had that. My I've had my truck. My truck is twenty years old now. It's an old truck. It only has like 80,000 80, miles on it, but it's an old truck. I'm driving that until it literally falls the fuck apart. I am not going I, to ram I drove a... the fit. I bought the fit used, drove it for 10 years, was not kind to it, still managed to sell it for five grand. Honda's run forever. I... Um, and the, the new car I got, I am planning to drive until I no longer can. I, I, I could not imagine deliberately crashing my fucking car and then driving off on the blown tire. All right. Well, the first thing we learned this week is fireball. Not even once, I guess. That's, that's, that's <laughs> apparently that's some strong stuff. Well, you know, you can drink the fireball. You don't have to make the fireball. <laughs> We've learned unless you're going to play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> We've learned that if you leave your keys in an unlocked foreign sports car that costs enough to just buy someone's life for the rest of their life, that you'll have to work ever again. That costs a house. It costs a house. And you leave that in an airport park. You don't deserve that car. You, if it, you, you gave that car away. Is what you did, sir. You even, if I, even if they find it, the cops should be like, no, we've decided you're too stupid to have this yeah, car. It belongs to We've learned just because you were a pastor does not mean you can steal a church. That's not how it works. It's. I mean, Henry VIII did it. He wasn't <laughs> even a pastor. He just, he just wanted a new wife. Ah. Uh... But you got to get to the pretty high levels to get into that kind of shit. We've learned that um, the apparent number of sex acts in the Kroger that'll get you fired from the Columbus police is nine. So keep keep that in 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 in. Uh, remember that for future reference. We've learned that this many okay, this many no. We've learned that Denmark can't hang. We've we've that's. <laughs> And, and and finally, we've learned that if you're if it's your party, but you can't shoot at the cops if you want to. It's, it's just cry like the rest of us. Just...